part of the build script requires that you either upload the Oracle install files to your server or you make them accessible via a public URL. In this part of the demo, I'll show you how to upload the Oracle installation files from your computer over to the server using a tool called ST SCP. You can also use SFTP clients or if you want to make it publicly accessible, a simple way of doing that is putting the Oracle install files on Dropbox and providing public links. And I can show you how to do that later. So first thing is to look at the Oracle install files you need. And I've already downloaded them, but you'll probably need Apex and ORDS if you're going to install Apex and the Oracle XE download file or installation file if you're going to install the Oracle module. All of the links to download these files are provided on the main project readme page. So using SCP, it's pretty simple. You can SCP, now we can do individual files each, each one, but I'll just do a star.zip to make things easier. And what next thing is to do is include the user, which is CentOS in my case, and then the server name, demo.oraopensource.com, and then the location that I want to copy them to. As you can see, it's starting to go and we'll pick up right when it's completed so we don't have to wait for the duration of the upload. If things went well, what you'll see is something very similar to this screen. You'll see all three files loaded up with 100%. Just to confirm, we can SSH into our server. Demo.ora. And if we go into the temp drive and view it, we will see all the different files. So we see this file, Oracle, XE, and ORDS. For this next part, what we'll do is download and configure the build script. The first thing we need to do is log into the server. Once logged in, we'll need to go to the project page on GitHub and start following the instructions. So if we scroll down, we can get to the manual build section. Next, we need to download. We just copy and paste this code and run it in on the server. Note you may be asked for a password to sudo in as root. In this case, I'm not because I have access already. Since we're running yum for the first time on this server, it will do some updates as you just saw. And if things work look well, you'll be in a folder called Oracle XE Apex that's in temp. Next, to configure the script, let's go back to the project page and look at the configuration section. So all we need to do is vi into config. And we just need to search for change items that say change me. The first is changing the Oracle file URL. And I've already copied that into my clipboard here, so I'm just going to paste it. Now I'm referencing the file that we uploaded in the first part. We can also reference an HTTP address. So if you upload, copied your file to Dropbox and created, made a public URL, you can use that here as well. So let's go to the next change me. Oops. And this is the Apex file URL. So I'll just copy that from my clipboard. Again, I'm just referencing the local file. And the last thing I need to change is the ORDS file URL down here. Again, I'll copy that from my clipboard. And now I'll save the file. And we're finished the download and configuration portion.
Running the build script is the easiest portion of the entire install process. First, we go back to our GitHub page. We can scroll down. Now, all of this stuff we're scrolling through, I essentially covered in this video. And then we just have to run .build.sh. Now, this is going to take a very long time, so what I'll do is pause the video and show you the final result. After a while of running, you will be prompted for some input. This is for the ORDS configuration. For now, this is a manual process. However, you will be given all the answers to the questions above here. So to start, in this case, I'm just entering localhost, and I'm just again following all the answers to the questions here. Once the installation is complete, it will do an automatic reboot. You can see the reboot message notification posted here, and then it will automatically disconnect you once it's rebooting. To test that it's back up again, you can just SSH back in. And this just shows that the server is back up and running. To test that Apex is running and the database is working, a simple test is just to go check out the Apex site. So I'm going to open a new tab and go to demo.ora open source.com. And if you see this screen, that means everything went well. To find out how to connect, you can go back to the main GitHub project page and scroll down to the how to connect area. It covers how to use how to connect to to Oracle using SQL plus and some of the Apex users that have been created by default. There is additional information as you continue to scroll down which may or may not be relevant depending on what you are doing. This concludes our demo. For more information and to sign up for our email list please check out AuraOpenSource.com.